so uh, induced emf epsilon equals to minus of d phi by dt phi is the flux change in flux linked with the circuitry this is the induced emf okay and induced emf is related to electric field if e be the electric field in space associated with the circuitry then by definition of emf around the closed path can be expressed as this emf equals to line integral of closed line integral e dot dl this is the definition of induced emf in terms of electric field so putting this value here over here we may write closed line integral e dot dl equals to minus dt of phi phi is the flux linked with the circuitry so this is the integral form of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction now let us derive its differential form so phi is the flux you know phi means surface integral by definition b dot ds b is the magnetic field so magnetic flux phi equals to b dot ds from the idea of vector that is flux means surface integral i have already mentioned earlier so we may write line integral of e dot dl equals to equals to minus d phi by dt ddt of phi phi means surface integral b dot ds okay so we may write minus this ddt can be introduced inside the integration as surface integral of del v by del t dot ds ddt is introduced inside the integration sign as del del t because here it is b dot ds if we write ddt of b dot ds product of two functions but ds doesn't depend upon t time surface doesn't depend upon time it depends on time so b only depends on time that's why ddt can be written over here as del del t partial differentiation del del t of b dot ds okay and left hand side line integral right hand side is surface integral so it can be converted into surface integral using stokes theorem on vector so using stokes theorem on vector left hand side can be written as surface integral of curl of e dot ds using stokes theorem on vector line integral to surface integral equals to this so we may write plus of surface integral of del v by del t dot ds equals to zero or we may write surface integral of curl of e plus del v del t dot ds equals to zero so as a product of two functions zero but ds cannot be zero the ds zero if ds zero this surface integral doesn't exist so the term within bracket that indicates that this term should be equals to zero so for any arbitrary surfaces we may write curl of e plus del v by del t equals to zero or or we may write we may write curl of e equals to minus del v by del t this is known as differential form of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction that is the 
third Maxwell's equation. So what are the applications of this uh, Faraday's law? This is the Faraday's law. It can be applied in various fields. AD current can be developed in various devices. Electric generator, it needs electromagnetic induction. Okay, so this is the application of electromagnetic induction.